With emotional journeys like Stray, something always happens to either the main protagonist that you're playing or the main character that you're playing or the companion. Sadly, the companion suffers greatly in Stray. B12 has to sacrifice itself in order to open up the city once and for all. So here we have the YouTuber's reactions to B12's sacrifice and goodbye. Hope you enjoy. And if you do enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. But for right now, enjoy. You're my friend. The very best I could have asked for. Thank you. I'm so naked. <laughs> Oh, take him with you, though. I'm still holding on to hope. No. Definitely take him with you. Oh, no, my heart. Hi. He just lost a friend. It's really sad. People just screaming at my face. Oh, do you think the whole city is just gonna be lifted? Like, um, Evangelion, you know? How the entire city is, like, underground. Oh, are we gonna release all of them? Oh no, they can't stand UV! Right? They're gonna burst. Yeah! <gasps> Amazing! Oh, I can just choose to lay down with him again. Aww. I thought it was to pick him up. But buddy, you gotta come with. Oh, is the whole thing gonna open? There goes another layer. It really is just like a disc city. Something that is amazing, which is what Jack did in his playthrough, highly recommend you check that out, is he stayed there because it actually opens up completely, which is something incredible to do from, I think, a lore or a storytelling standpoint. It They could have easily not shown it opening all the way because they were like oh you know players are probably not gonna stand there so we're just gonna leave it open or we're gonna make it open halfway or just the top no it open if so many layers get removed it is so fascinating to see and it's it's such an incredible detail to the story as well absolutely love it you're my friend the very best i could ever have asked for Thank you. Oh. Who'd have thought you could get so attached to a little drone, huh? Oh. Little nozzle as well. Literally couldn't have done it without him, man. Couldn't have done it at all. He saved our lives so many times. Is it open? Oh yeah, there we go. What is everyone gonna think in the city? They're gonna be like, jeez, turn the lights off. I wanna leave. Can I take him with me? Oh no, I can't. I don't have to leave him on the floor. <laughs> you are my friend, the very best I could have asked for. <laughs> what? Wow. Oh, man. Look 
look at that. Oh, and the cat stayed here. Didn't even care to look at the sky. He just wanted to stay here with his friend. Oh. My badges! You were my friend, the very best I could have asked for. Thank you. No, what the freak? Stop it! No! Seriously? Go to sleep for one last time. No, B12 is not waking back up though. What the freak, man? B12. Uh, the doors are finally opening now. And everyone can finally escape. People in the slums, the people from Midtown, everybody. Gosh, guys. Including oh wait, I think maybe if the light touches them, they'll just die. Is that is that what's gonna happen? Hey, let's go! Wow! Am I just gonna lay here with B12, like on the floor? Man, I don't like this ending at all, man. I don't like this at all. You woke up, the ceiling is opened. B12. Oh my gosh. Really gonna do this to me? You were my friend, the very best I could have asked for. Thank you. Oh, he can't go me out like that. Stupid net. Shit, it's the roof opening completely. Wow, we can actually like give them sunlight. Yeah, that's really sad. Oh, they don't like light, remember? Oh, we about to pop some potatoes. Let's go. Hot potatoes, quite literally. We praising it, oh, but B12. So you hear my meows till the end of time. Fuck this. My eye feels a little itchy. Fuck this. I knew that something was gonna happen with one of us. I'm actually kind of relieved that it's not the cat. But it sucks, you know? It just sucks either way. I think that we can bring the robot body with us, right? Please? Die, you freaking rats! Die, you freaking rats! Yeah, you like that? How's that feel when that Sunny D hits, huh? Yeah! Oh, that's so cute. I hate how adorable that is. I'm bringing it with me. 
Oh, you can't? Oh, The cat is like, I want to sleep next to my friend. I don't care if they're not moving anymore. That's so cute. Wait. I just want to bring the robot with me. This is quite interesting, though, because even in a city like this, there are still shadows. So are there going to be... Um, neighborhoods where the Zerg are still very much active and you want to stay away from those. I am very curious. Or are the robots just going to leave and then the Zerg won't have anything to eat anymore? I mean, I, technically they eat everything, so the remaining buildings will get eaten as well. But if they do that, then they will no longer have shade to hide from the sunlight. So it's, it's a very interesting thought. What, like, what's going to happen to the city now? That it has been opened up, right? Like, what, 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 what is going to happen? You are my friend, the very best I could ask for. Thank you. It's kind of sad. Okay, but we gotta go. Oh my god. Oh shit. I bet sunlight kills these motherfuckers. Yep. Why don't we just use the technology to get him a better body? You're my friend, the very best I could ask for, thanks. I'm a cat, I have no idea what he just said. Smells good. The big review. It's probably going to vaporize them. Yeah, yeah, it does. Wait, don't look into the sun directly. Oh, my. I don't think that matters because they're robots. They don't have actual retinas that can get damaged from looking at the sun directly, which would actually be kind of interesting. Like, they would be able to see things more, well, I don't think more clearly, but they'd be able to look at the sun, which I th think is pretty cool, especially now that the sun is out a lot more. Anyway, that makes a good point. They have robot technology. Like, they walk around uh, with... A, a very good battery pack, apparently. I don't know how they recharge, but that's very interesting. So is there another robot body around that they can use to put B12 in? I feel that that would be possible. That he's he The scientist that B12 is uploaded his brain before. Pretty sure he would be able to do it again now that he remembers he's a human. Or maybe he forgot how to do it. I don't know. But anyway, those were the reactions to B12, its sacrifice, and the city opening up. Hope you enjoy, and we'd love to see you all in the next video. Bye.